The owner of this pair wanted me to dye and darken the shafts of his boots for a contrasted look. This was a fun project and I absolutely love the pebble grain leather on this pair to contrast with the smooth lower. A lot of people are interested in knowing what leather dyes I use for my various projects. I usually use dyes made by Angelus that I just pick up at my local cobblers near my house. My only real piece of advice for any dye project is simply take your time and do not rush it. Tape areas off if you need to and use different size brushes to get into those small hard to get areas or for extra precision. These boots, or any dye project for that matter, will need about two coats of dye, so allow some time for drying before you add any more coats. An hour wait is usually sufficient. While the shafts completely cure overnight, I'm using some leather lotion to hydrate the lower of the boot and making sure everything down there is well nourished and taken care of. I really, really love this horsehair brush. My dad has had it for since as long as I can remember. And one time I asked him, Dad, where did you get this old horsehair brush? And he told me, son, believe it or not, back in 1966, your grandpa let a homeless guy live at our house for about a week. One morning, this guy just took off and he left behind an old shoeshine box and inside was this brush. So I kept it. So uh, this particular brush is well over 40 years old and it has served me really well. Now that the shafts have completely cured overnight, I'm using dark brown polish to add a nice shine so everything comes together perfectly. Now it's time for that mirror shine on the caps. If you would like a much more detailed explanation on how to perform a mirror shine, check out my other video where I go into much further detail. I've left a link in the description.
Thanks again for stopping by. If you've liked this short tutorial, like and subscribe and look for me on Facebook and Instagram at The Elegant Oxford.